found somebody I say you don't cross my mind It's my very last first day of school And she doesn't know that your favorite place is still mine Now I take the long way home Avoid what I can let go I don't always think about you But sometimes I do Cause sometimes I drive through All of the streets we used to on First Avenue Cause sometimes I don't even know where I'm going at first All of the turns that I had to unlearn Back to the surface, the feeling of all that we learned I don't always think about you Till First Avenue That's when I do I can't believe this day is finally here. Today is Monday, January 10th, 2022, and it is my last first day of school ever, which is insane. Like how many first days of school have I had? So many. And this is the last one. I do not feel qualified to be having my last first day of school. Like I don't feel old enough, but I am. I'm so happy I'm gonna have this vlog to look back on, like look back on such a milestone in my life. I'm being very dramatic, but it's an exciting day. I'm just gonna be doing my makeup now because I have um, grad photos on Thursday and I have to do my makeup all by myself and I am not a step makeup. So I have been practicing every single day leading up to it so that I know what I'm doing by the time it's Thursday. So first, I'm just taking foundation. I literally bought foundation just for these pictures because I didn't own foundation before. So this semester, I'm taking only four classes, which I'm really excited about because every single other semester, I've taken five classes. But in the summer of 2020, I took a summer class and that honestly works out perfectly. Like I'm so happy that I saved it for my very last semester because hopefully it's like the most chill semester that I've had so far. The four classes that I'm taking are first, my like major project for my film major and it's like our major project so we're creating a project i'm creating two music videos so that's what i've been working on actually since last semester and that is like not going to be so bad because technically it's just one project except there are like a bunch of mini assignments i actually have two mini assignments due this friday which they never told us about this window is really washing me out but i swear my skin is like not that pale especially because i'm using these bronzing drops on top of my foundation and then my next class um is another film class it's called the video essay and that one i was looking at it and it also looks pretty chill we only have two video essay assignments and then we also have four discussion posts throughout the semester and then i am also taking like an elective course it's like a design creative type of thing. I don't really know much about it, but my friend took it and she said it's super, super easy. We only have two assignments throughout the year, once again, like hello. And both of the assignments are like really, really short, really easy. She showed me what she did for those assignments and it looks so easy. And then we also have a discussion post every single week, which is not too bad. And then we have six quizzes throughout the semester and our three lowest grades out of six get dropped. And then the last class, the fourth class that I'm taking is another film class. It's called Business of Media and I'm pretty sure it's like a class all about like the industry, like the film industry, the media industry, and like jobs in the industry. I don't really know what we're going to be graded on. Like I remember reading this the description and like not really knowing what we would be graded on because it kind of just seems like a class where we just learn about the industry. We're supposed to have a field trip to Toronto but that's definitely not happening. So that one hasn't been posted yet. I haven't been able to see what the assignments are but like hopefully I have a pretty main 
manageable semester and I'm really excited to only take four classes. Although like YouTube always feels like a fifth class. Well, it always feels like a sixth class. So I guess now I'm finally only taking five classes. I obviously do a lot of work for YouTube too. I wrote down some deadlines in my planner, but I haven't written them all down. So hopefully I have time to do that after I do my makeup because I do have a Zoom for um, the video. Oh, oh my God, I never mentioned this. My classes are online until March 1st. Um, yeah, really sucks. So as I was saying before, just my video essay teacher said that he wanted to have like an optional Zoom meeting at 10 a.m. And I'm going to go. I bought this mascara specifically specifically for my grad photos because I was seeing it all over TikTok. So I've been practicing with this mascara and it's really nice. It's the Lash Sensational from Maybelline. Look at that difference. And we're all done. I'm obviously gonna put like some sort of lip gloss on the day of, but right now I just have lip balm, which is fine. I also got my nails done yesterday for my grad photos, just a nice little light pink. And I'm gonna get my hair curled the morning of because my appointment's at like 1.20, like my photos are at 1.20. So I have hair at 9 30 in the morning and i'm very stressed for these photos even though i shouldn't be i just feel like there's so much pressure to get them perfect because they're like my university graduation photos which is such a big deal i'm trying my best to practice beforehand so i'm not stressed the day of so this is the look can you switch hands like maybe like this okay cool and <laughs> And now I'm gonna go put all of my deadlines for the semester into my planner. It really doesn't even feel like the first day back at school, probably because we're back online and because I've already been at my apartment for a couple days because I'm doing a huge apartment makeover, which I'm really excited for you to see. And usually I only come back like the day before classes start. So just, it's weird today, but obviously I need to get back into the school mindset one last time so that I can graduate. And that's about it. I hope that you enjoy this first day of school vlog. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up because that really helps support my channel. Leave me a comment down below because I respond to every single comment. And of course, if you are not already, you should definitely subscribe to my channel because this is my very last college semester. I only have like three more months to make college vlogs. So I am going to be doing my best to like make so many college related videos. You don't want to miss any of those. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure your post notifications are on so that you get notified every time I upload. And let's go have an amazing semester hopefully Okay, just finished writing down all the deadlines in my planner and I've got like one minute to connect to the zoom for my video essay class So I'm gonna go do that Okay, so that Zoom is done. It only lasted 45 minutes. It's exactly 10.45 right now. And he had blocked off an hour and a half. So it was like half that, which was really nice. There we go. First check of the semester. This is what my schedule looks like this week. So I just wrote down all of these things for my video essay class. So I have a lecture to watch and then I have seven screenings, which are like videos and then two articles to read. And that's like my work for the class this week. So I think what I'm gonna do right now until lunch is get all the work for my video essay class done, which is like the readings, the screenings and the lecture. And then maybe even do some of like the small little things that are due for my creativity elective. I think that's the goal. So let's get started on work. Happy first day of the semester. Week one for the video essay class is complete and I'm gonna go make myself some lunch now. I'm gonna eat it with some Gossip Girl because I'm rewatching Gossip Girl. And then after lunch, I'm going to work on my creativity elective and try and get all of that work done for next week.
I am back in bed to continue doing work for my creativity elective. I have quite a few things due not this Sunday and like today's Monday. So not the coming Sunday, but the Sunday after. And I just want to get them done because I want to get all the small things out of the way for both my classes and I already did one of them. So that's what I'm going to do. I have two quizzes that I could do. Not sure if I'm going to do the quizzes yet. Just depends like how well I know the material. One quiz on like the module one material material and one quiz on the syllabus. I have an introduction forum where again I just like introduce myself so that's really easy. I have to read through the module one material obviously. I think there's three lectures and four little readings or screenings. They're like grouped together so I don't know which ones are videos, which ones are articles. And then there are two discussion forums. There's going to be like two every other week. In the syllabus it says we only have to do five and someone actually already asked my question I saw like in the course questions forum and they asked if we like really only have to do five and one of the TAs replied and said yes you can only do five but your grade will reflect that you chose to do the minimum amount of work which I just don't understand I hate when teachers do that like if doing five discussion posts is gonna give us a worse grade than doing 12 like why not just make all 12 mandatory so obviously I'm gonna be doing every single discussion post so let's go by the way I took my makeup off because I have a sty growing on this lower lash line and I have these like drops that I've been putting on it so I took off my makeup so I could put the drops on to try and make that go away before my grad photos. Okay, update on my creative elective. Way harder than I thought it was gonna be. Well, not hard, just way more work than I thought. I took the quiz and we had an hour to do it. And I honestly thought like, maybe I'm gonna take like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I took 45 minutes to do the quiz and it took me that long because a lot of the questions were really tricky and like I kind of always knew what my answer was but like again like he's just trying to trick us so it took me a really long time to like accept like my gut feeling for the answers because they were either multiple choice or true or false but I obviously finished it and I didn't think I was going to get my grade right away but I did and I got 14 out of 15 so only one question wrong which I'm really not mad about that got me a 93% which is an a plus so really happy about that so obviously both the module and the quiz took way longer than I expected them to so I just quickly wrote my little introduce yourself like introduction discussion post and that is all I'm gonna do for now because that took me so long and I want to have dinner so I'm not doing the two other discussion posts I'll just save them for another day and I'm not doing the syllabus quiz because now that I know how tricky his quizzes are I like want to read the syllabus top to bottom like really detailed so i'm not gonna do that right now because i want to go have dinner and i'm losing my voice don't really know why hopefully i don't have covid but if you are new here i have a little tradition that i've been doing every single day on my first day of school which is to order myself something from uber eats on like my very very first day in september of first year i ordered myself breakfast and then ever since then i'm pretty sure i've ordered myself dinner so tonight i'm gonna go over to my friend maggie's house because i asked her to do this tradition with me and we're gonna order some score pizza which is my favorite pizza i don't know what i'm gonna do when i graduate and i don't get my score pizza anymore okay see you when we've got our pizza i'm at maggie's house and we're having a little pizza date the candle even it's so good. left over from her real date <laughs> we both got pizza and strawberry lemonades and i'm going to put some extra balsamic glaze of course Stomach. cheers the last first day of school. So sad. <laughs> like so sad. Because I'm so not weird. I'm not doing grad school. So like, no, no grad school over here. Delicious. Hello, hello. It is 
11.30. I got back from Maggie's house at 11. I like went over, we ordered pizza, ate our pizza with a movie, and then we chatted for like so long. I left her house at like 11. And then I came back here, I showered, I did my skincare. I just put on moisturizer and a lip mask. And now I'm just gonna go to bed. Like I'm not gonna go on my phone. I'm not gonna read. Like I just wanna go to bed. I really wanna fix my sleep schedule this semester. So I wanna start going to bed earlier and waking up earlier. So yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now, which kind of wraps up today's last first day of school, which is really crazy. I feel like I've been thinking about this day for so long, like ever since third year. I've been like, oh my God, one day soon, I'm gonna have a last first day of school. And like a year ago, I was like, oh my God, in one year. And then last semester, I was like, oh my God, in one semester. And now the day is here. Like it's still today. I'm in the present moment. It's so weird to think about how in a few years, I'm gonna like look back at this video and look back at my last first day of school. Actually, probably my last day of school is gonna be the more interesting vlog. Today was a really good first day of school. I'm happy with my classes. I got a lot of work done and hopefully it's not too bad. Please wish me luck this semester. I do not want a repeat of last semester. I really think that this semester is gonna be okay and I'm very excited to make so many vlogs out of it. So make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss any of the content coming your way over the next three months. And if you enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below because I respond to every single comment and that's gonna be all for today's vlog thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video good night and goodbye